and welcome to another day of April Devotion, uh, where we're going day by day in the month of April, sharing our devotion through our Bible time reading. Uh, today I'm going to speak out of <clears throat> John chapter 4. It is where Jesus meets the Samaritan by the well. So many of you guys know that um, the Jewish people did not associate with the Samaritan people. Uh, but, but Jesus went through Samaria intentionally to meet this woman by the well. I think well is a very important figure uh, Im image in the Bible, well and water. Now if you think about it, when God created this world, He created a garden. And in order there for there to be a garden, uh, there needs to be water. And the, in, and the idea is that when Adam and Eve was made and placed into the garden, right, they were always near a source of water, uh, eternal water, which was God Himself. Now, it wasn't until when they sinned and sin entered into their life that they were separated from this eternal source of life, uh, the water of life. And so from that point on, humanity as a whole has been searching for this water source. There's this um, thirst in us that is always desiring for more life. And so we try to get it from different sources, unfortunately. It leaves us drier and more thirstier than before. But here we see the same thing happening to this Samaritan woman. Uh, she comes to the well and she's trying to draw up the well for her day. And when Jesus approaches her and offers her the living water that if you drink of this, you will thirst no more, she's thinking that he's talking about a real literal water source and why of course she would be excited she doesn't have to come to the well anymore she doesn't have to draw the water up from the well right there there's no work involved but uh, Jesus explains it a little bit longer and tells her that this fountain this water that comes up once you drink of it you won't thirst anymore but rather also once you drink from it you become a wellspring of this living water now what Jesus is saying that he himself was that source of life back in the Garden of Eden. This was, this is the source of life that all man is looking for. And the beautiful thing is, as I was reflecting on this, is once we have partaken with that living water, once we accept Jesus Christ into our life, the Holy Spirit now enters into us and allows us to become that well of living water for other people around us. Isn't that such an honor, a privilege to give life and to be able to love and to, and to live like Jesus did here on earth? So GPM, I encourage you, even in isolation, let's try to become that source of living water to our neighbors, to our family, to our friends, wherever we are. Uh, let's continue to give life to one another. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us again. Join us next or tomorrow for another daily devotion. I'll see you soon.